Hey guys, all Christians talk about salvation, but if you've been saved, what have you been saved from? Got a minute? So a lot of times when we talk about salvation, we talk about being saved and you die, you get to go to heaven, you don't go to hell. The idea that we escape punishment is the idea of salvation is very limited. God saved you from so much more than that. And a lot of times we as Christians walk in chains that of our own making because we refuse to walk in the salvation that Jesus offers. So I ask the question again, what did God save you from? By his stripes, we are healed. What that means is that we don't have to fall into the same temptations anymore. We don't have to continue on with drugs or alcohol or uh, you just name it, lies. See, a lot of Christians, they wait and they're in this constant waiting game because eternal life is coming. And whenever eternal life gets here, then all of a sudden everything will be perfect. I won't have any more temptation. That's not the way that Jesus teaches us. Jesus tells us this. Now this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Eternal life is to know God. So yes, we've been saved, but we've been saved from our own demise that is right now. We don't have to walk with the chains that we had before. Because whenever we walk with God and whenever we walk in a relationship with God, those chains go away. Our God is a God that liberates. Our God is a God that, that sets free the captives. So no matter what sin or a different thing that you're going through, God is ready to set you free. And he's done everything that's necessary in order for it to happen. So what has God saved you from? Thanks for taking a minute.